Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you today? How's life in your world? How's things where you are? I hope it's fantastic. Everything here is great. I hope you had a good weekend. I had a very good weekend. We had my daughter's um, 15th birthday. We did a roller skating party. That was fun. And I got to work on this project, which this is all you're going to get to see for now. Uh, I will show you the finished project soon. Uh, but I brought the Kindle down because today I want to talk about a book. I actually, um, I'm still reading. Reading has slowed. It's not, I'm not going at a f crazy pace I set in January. According to Goodreads, I read 17 books in January. I think that's kind of a, f a lie. Um, six of those were uh, like the Kindle... Um, sometimes Amazon will bundle like six short stories um, and it counted each of those as an individual book what they were like an hour to read so I don't really consider those books whatever 11 books is still a ridiculous amount of books to read in one month um, but that's that's whatever it is what it is and it's, those were no some of those were novellas so you know anyway I'm not reading like that but I did read two books last week uh, both are smaller books one was a novella um, this one I want to talk about, I could, I, I might talk about the other one, we probably will this week. Um, I picked this one to talk about first, even though I read it, I just finished this yesterday. Uh, oh, I'll talk about this one first because I believe this is, I don't think this is self-published. I think this was actually published through a publisher, uh, and this is called Something from the Night Side by Simon R. Green, and... The, the confusion about whether it's self-published or not is that it's a, not a good book. It's actually pretty bad. Um, and I don't necessarily mean the story. I think the story was okay-ish. Like, the, you know, the story of... Uh, okay, where do, I, where do I pick this up? This has been on my wish list for a while. I've heard good things about this series and I wanted to give it a shot. Uh, I like the Dresden Files, so I often get recommended other magic detective stories and I'm kind of sort of writing something like that so I was like well it's been on my wish list for a while I think it was two dollars or something on sale this weekend so I just bought it and read it um and it's just not good like I think the story is fine it's this is going to be full of spoilers I'm not going to try to edit around this whatever it's a it's a it's a you know, magical detective, he has some special power, but his special power only works uh, in the night side, which is like the seedy underbelly, literally like under London, there's a whole other city uh, that's bigger than London, and that it's always dark there, that's why it's called the night side, and you can, any vice you could fulfill is there, and there's characters like Shotgun Sally and Razor Eddie who have magical abilities and whatever. Um, and so our main character is like the, uh, I, I left the night side five years ago and now he's just like a gruff PI. Um, so he gets a client, goes into the night. She's, she's missed. Her daughter's missing. He, they go into the night side, a bunch of bullshit happens and they find her. Um, kind of standard pulpy detective story, which is fine. But the way it's told is just bad. It's just a bad book. Like, I gave it two stars because I felt like the story was compelling. I felt like, oh, I'm interested in this night side. I'm interested in the characters that exist there. I'm interested in this character. Like, it's alluded to that his power is more than just finding things. But we don't really get to see much of that. In fact, we don't get to see much of anything. There's a, there's a common... Uh, writer advice that every writing advice giver gives that is see don't, or show don't tell. The idea is if a person is feeling bad, don't tell us the person's this person feels bad. Show us that this person feels bad. If this person goes and does a thing, don't tell us that. Just show us that, right? This book is like 90% telling you. There is no like, 
It's just the character sitting down, going on these long, like, I would say 80% of this book is dialogue, and it's all him just espousing BS about his life, because we need to know it, so we're just going to just vomit it out, and any chance he can possibly get. And in any character, oh, that's this person, they're the most personal person in the night side, and, pers and, then, and you're just like... By the end of the book, I was just tired of it. I was tired of hearing the night side, which is like, there's, it's probably in 200 pages, it's at least once a page. And I'm not, that, I don't think that's an exaggeration. Um, it's just tiring. And, it, and it's one of those books, there's number one, not number one, number two, uh, there's a lot of just mistakes. Like, I picked up on just casually reading this book, not reading it to be critical, casually reading the book, I picked up on at least a dozen typos. I picked up on repeat words. I, I mean, it just, I picked up, oh, it's one of my, both this book and the other book I'm currently not reviewing but might talk about later this week, um, both of them had an issue of uh, jumping. So both of them were written first person. They're both de magical detective stories. Both of them were written first person. And both of them, the the narrator, who, who is the main character, we jump into other people's feelings. And that's just, no. You just never do that. There, there's no place, because you, as a reader, I'm confused. Like, wait, who are we talking about here? When suddenly I'm, I'm being told how this other person feels that isn't the narrator. Like, how does he know? There, it's fine to say she looked as if she was thinking this. But to just say she was thinking this, nope, don't ever do that. And that, that's here. Like, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here that's like, was this self-published? I don't think it was. This guy's a, like, New York Times bestseller. This 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 series is, I don't know, 20 books or something? I, mean, I, don't, I think this is a legit published book, but for some reason just feels like there was never an editing process. There's a whole bunch of side stuff that doesn't need to happen. There, there's just, it feels like, and, and there's, I felt like, I don't know if this is true because I'm, I'm not petty enough to do research, like to go back, but there seemed to be a whole lot of contradiction in here. There seemed to be a whole lot of repetition. He would say something, we would have an aside, and then he would say that same thing again. Like, and I don't necessarily mean like, in one paragraph, he says the same sentence. I mean, like, he would introduce a topic, like a whole, here's a whole diatribe on what this means. The uh, Some other character would ask a question. They would have a thing. They would go outside, and now he would mention that whole thing completely over again. Just let's reintroduce the thing and contradict what we wrote the first time. Very confusing. Uh, it just, and, and it's not... I do not get the impression it's trying to be thinky. This is a pulp style novel. This is not literature. This is just, you know, hot and fast, let's go writing, but it's, it just fails. I think it fails. I, I thought, you know, I don't know, I might... I might continue reading it. I don't know who recommended this to me. It's been on my wish list for a very long time. Uh, somebody recommended it to me. But if you're out there and you're watching this, let me know what you find exciting about it. Maybe I'll read a second one. I don't know. There's so much other stuff I'd rather read right now. I just picked this one because it was short and it was cheap and it was like, I need something to read for the weekend. Uh, I'm waiting for some books to come off hold at the library. So I'm just trying not to f start something big. Um... I'm not upset that I read it. Let's put it that way. I felt I feel like my two stars is a valid. There's a lot of valid criticisms that doesn't bump it up to that middle of the ground, you know, average book that I would. I normally would give a book like three stars if I found my way through it and was like, okay, this one was really close, but it just there's so much just eh, about it that I had to say it's just a two star book. You know, it's not a it's not one star. It's not some book I'm mad that I read. Usually, if I'm reading a book that I think is going to be a one star, I just won't finish it because it's just, it's not worth my time, you know, and uh, this, this though, I felt like it, I'm not upset that I read it. It, it was an interesting story. It just the way it's told is bad. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? Have you read any of Sam Green's other works? Should I keep going? 
Uh, does it get better? I think that for most authors, like the debuts, or I don't know if this is his debut, but especially the start of a new series, there's tends to be a period of trying to find their way. And maybe that's what this was, was just trying to figure out what this is. I don't know. I hope that when I f write a book and release it, it doesn't come away like this, you know. But maybe I'll make these same mistakes. That's okay. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, being amazing friends and wonderful people. I really appreciate you. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Today's word you should know sounds smart is transgress. It is a verb meaning to go beyond acceptable bounds. Unjust laws exist. Shall we be content to obey them or shall we endeavor to amend them and obey them until we have succeeded or shall we transgress them at once? Henry David Thoreau, an American author and transcendentalist. Transgress, T-R-A-N-S-G-R-E-S-S. -S. I know I've said this before, but the person who wrote this book has a major heart on for Henry David Thoreau. And I'm sorry, I just never really got him. Not sorry. I'm not sorry at all.